guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Hey guys, so before we get into this video like completely, I'm trying so hard late to get to 50 subscribers by the end of August. We have three more to go to see if we can make it. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog to hit the subscribe button and like and share. Um, it would mean so much to me if I could hit 50 subscribers this month. And that's it. So let's get into the video. So today, I thought that I would talk about my high school experience and how wonderful that was. I've been out of high school for about two months. I graduated in June and it's August, so I've been out for like mm, almost two months. High school was a whirlwind of so many emotions, so many things happened, so many feelings were made, everything. Like, it was an experience, guys, let me tell you that. Let's start with the best year of all of our lives, freshman year. Oh. Start with my grades. My grades, I had A's and B's. I was doing really well my freshman year. I was on my A game. I turned in every assignment. I didn't kind of haphazardly throw together essays or anything like that. I really took pride in my work freshman year. That didn't last long. I had two math classes. My eighth grade year, I failed or I was kind of below average in a math class, so they made me take two math classes. The upside, because that's where I made the best connection I had with my best friend, Amaritza, which you guys saw in my last week of graduation and graduation vlog video. You saw her in those. I had, I don't want to say racist science, science teacher. I had a very disrespectful science teacher who didn't like me at all, always failed me, and <laughs> One day, we kind of, we were at each other's necks, and she told me to, I don't know, look at her or answer a question, and I kind of rolled my eyes, and she was like, okay, write me half a page on anything you want. And I was like, anything I want? She was like, yes, do it now. And I was like, okay. And the night before, I had watched some cop show, a murder, I wrote the monologue of what the murderer did. <laughs> and apparently, she took it the wrong way, and thought I was writing her a murder note. Let me tell her that she thought I was gonna kill her and I was like, hold up, wait, pause. No, you're not that special. I wouldn't risk my life for you. Since she reported it to the school, I got suspended for two days. My mom came to the school, we talked it out and she was like, you want IHOP? Just, oh. Right when we left, we went to go to IHOP. Big whoop school, big whoop. I don't wanna say I lost friends because I never really had friends. I lost a lot of acquaintances though. Mostly from them going to different schools or different classes. Cast schedules were different. Um, yeah, but I lost a lot of acquaintances freshman year. The friends I the friends I had, we weren't really close enough to stay friends throughout high school, so I lost touch with those. But the friends that I kept in touch with all throughout high school, we made some real connections that freshman year because we had a few, I had a few classes with some of them. Others we tried to hang out outside of school, which we did succeed in. I got my phone stolen. I did my gem locker. It was a little. I think it was a yellow or green phone. You know when those were a thing. Everyone wanted a colored phone. I got my colored phone stolen. Drove, got on the bus, went home, got in the car with my mom. Mom shut down my phone. She was like, "Why?" I was like, "Cause it's stolen." I went to the school. They said there's nothing they can do. I was like, "You got no cameras? You can't see who stole my phone?" They say it's already probably gone. So we just shut the phone down. I got a new one in like 30 days. 30 days. After like, no, I don't want to say two weeks after I got that phone, I dropped it in a bucket of water. Like, are you kidding me? I just got this phone and I drop it into a bucket of water. I literally went into my kitchen and I cried. I cried on the floor and I shoved my phone in the bag of rice and I just started bawling my eyes out. My mom and sister came home. They just saw me on the floor crying. They were like, what am I going to do with my I don't know what I was saying, but it made sense to them. Sophomore year. Well, let's say sophomore summer, the summer before sophomore year. I got my first boyfriend. Oh, anyway, I won't even give him that label though. He wasn't even a boyfriend. He was a guy I talked to on my phone that I called boyfriend. There's a difference. I hung out once hung out never again because he never wanted to come down here and see me he only wanted me to go up there and see him we lived an hour away from each other and i was like hold on no no we ended up breaking up like a few days later it lasted nothing it literally meant nothing and i I guarantee you what back then I was like, oh my god, I'll never find the one. He was the one. How am I ever gonna be happy? 
Now that I look back on it, I was like, what the heck was I doing? That was so stupid. Oh my gosh. But life lesson. Don't date a guy who only wants you to come to him and never comes to you. Who do you think you are? Who do you think I am? You're not that close. I made a friend in my math class, also in my careers class, my English class. We had three classes together. We were really close for the whole entire first semester. We were really inseparable. Then that December, she tried to kill herself and I stopped talking to her after that. I made another friend. You guys, I think, met her. I don't know. I made another friend. We had two classes though. We had English and then we had science and English was an hour long so we'd always sat next to each other. We always talked to each other. We were literally so close and then my senior year we had a class together. We were talking all the time. No, my junior year we had a class together and we talked all the time. I got a knife. <laughs> I got a knife from my school from a boy at field day. I think it was his way of telling me that he liked me. So I'm here my grades. <sighs> my grades weren't they weren't great at all. They were horrible. They were like D, C's, and F's. And we should not talk about that because that was tragic. That's when I messed up. Sophomore year hit and it just went boom, downhill from there, guys. It went downhill. It was no bueno, no bueno. I didn't learn something for college and it's take school seriously. Don't mess around. It is your life. Literally, I could have gotten into an amazing college. I could have been going to an, I could have been giving you guys moving vlogs. I could have been almost out of the country, but because I didn't care for my grades and because I thought that, oh, hey, grades don't really matter. Grades don't define me. I can do whatever I want. Focus on your grades and do your work. That's all I have to say to every single high schooler that's in high school right now. Are you kidding me? Focus on your grades. I'm serious. They are your life. Junior year. I lost a lot of friends. I lost one of my besties that I had since middle school. Um, she dropped out. Her friend group, her whole time friend group dropped out. I had friends that moved away. I was just like, why? We have this running start program in our school where you can go to the local community college, get like a associate's degree. So a lot of my friends went to that. And I was like, okay, well, if all my friends are gonna be gone, I need to do something with my time. So that's how I found my career path, which is I wanna be a physical therapist. I went to the skill center, which is like where you learn a trade. So I learned physical therapy and I just did it just cause I wanted to get away from my old school. I really found something that I loved. I loved learning about about everything that had to do with physical therapy, love every single aspect of it. I loved everything about it and I fell in love with it my junior year. But it's always but. but due to me going to the skill center, I never got to have lunch my entire junior year. I didn't get one lunch period. I got like maybe 10 minutes of lunch and then I had to go. And then I know on Mondays and Fridays, I got 30 minutes of lunch, which is amazing, but I still didn't bring food because what was the point? I was trying to catch up with all my friends that I never got to see. I did have three periods at my home school, but none of my friends were in there. I just made new kind of class friends. That's a lie. I had one friend in math, which was Ashley, who I met in sophomore year. I did get a lot closer with my friends, weirdly, due to me not seeing them after school every day. My best friend Zara, it would drive me home every day. I miss our car rides. She would always go slow over the speed bumps, like so annoying, but she did. We always had, we had fruit, we had friend groups, we had parties. We had a Friendsgiving, I think we had a Christmas party. We had Secret Santa, which my Secret Santa ended up being an actor B. I mean, that's a whole different story time. I won't even give her the air. Grades. Grades did not improve junior year. I did my best though, but they still did not improve. So, messed up there. Again, grades are important. Do your homework. Turn in work. Finish essays. Do it. Gosh. Now for the most wonderful year of my life, senior year, where I had stress acne for the entire nine months of school. So grades were better this year. I got a lot of, I got C's, but I had a lot of hard classes. So I'll give myself that. I had a lot of hard classes because I wanted to challenge myself before college. I had a job for the first time while I was in high school. Easy to juggle because I only had night hours. So it wasn't like it was an hour after I had to go to, after I got home, I had to go to work. It was five hours after I got home. I hung out more with my friends after I think the first semester and like a few months into the second semester, I lost two close friends. I had a bunch of new experiences. I had job shadow, which I went to a physical therapy clinic and I kind of learned a little bit more. Physical therapy is what I really want to do. I want to be a DPT. I want to have my own clinic. 
I want to make a chain of clinics around the whole entire world. That'd be amazing, but we'll see. Um, and then I had driver's ed round two, which I did sophomore year, but I never finished it. I graduated. I really didn't think I would graduate. I was actually really concerned, like the whole entire time I was like I'm not gonna graduate my grades are too bad my GPA is low I don't I don't think I'm gonna pass all these classes panicking but thankfully I took the SATs and ACTs and those tests saved me so take your SATs and ACTs I don't care if you're going to community college take them dang that's it that was my whole high school experience not a lot happened really I'm not a really exciting person I just really kept to myself I think the one thing that kind of struck me these four years really friends that I made and the friends that I lost some friends that I made I'm so glad that I ended up losing and some friends that I lost I'm very sad that I did dang but we're not done yet guys we still have seven years of college and I will do this again with my college experience with community college university graduate school the whole nine um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys like me please subscribe if you guys want to tell me what to do for the next video comment down below or tweet me or instagram me depending on what you guys want to do i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye